A Dallas hospital is one of a handful in the country approved to provide new gene therapy for sickle cell disease. Children's Health is set up to provide one of two of the new gene therapies approved by the FDA last month. Fox News' Alex Boyer is up now with more on this medical breakthrough and what's happening in North Texas. Alex. Hey, Steve, you know, this new gene therapy really could be a game changer for thousands of people who suffer from sickle cell disease. As you mentioned, a Dallas hospital right here in our area is approved to do one of those therapies. To my kids, this is our normal life, but to a normal person, it's not normal. The Tucker family knows all too well the importance of blood drives like this one put on by the American Red Cross and the William McDonald YMCA in Fort Worth Wednesday. That you guys are really touching lives, that you're saving lives. Three of the five Tucker kids have sickle cell disease, a debilitating blood disorder that affects roughly 100,000 people in the U.S., most of them black. Every time I had a pain crisis, I had to go to the hospital and had needles in my arm. And I, and I had surgery and blood transfusion. I mean, it's been tough because, like, whenever you're in a pain crisis, you can, like, be down. Like, you have to have, like, somebody to take care of you. Mom Crystal Dawn says her three boys, ages 15, 12, and 10, have spent countless hours at the hospital dealing with complications from the disease caused by a mutation of hemoglobin found in red blood cells that often leads to rigid, sickle-like shapes. Every day is a struggle. Every day is a battle. This disease is you know, a major impact in the U.S. Dr. Andrew Coe is a pediatric hematologist at Children's Health. He's excited about a major breakthrough for the treatment of sickle cell disease. In December, the FDA approved the first ever gene therapy for people ages 13 and older that could cure the painful inherited blood disorder. Essentially, you can take um, bone marrow de derived or blood derived stem cells from the patient itself, genetically modify them to correct the sickle cell defect and then reinfuse them back into the patient. Children's Health is one of a handful of medical centers in the country currently qualified to dispense the gene therapy. Dr. Ko is urging patients with sickle cell to talk to their providers to see if they might qualify for the therapy. Back at the blood drive, Crystal Dawn plans to do just that. I'm so excited about the latest advancement with gene therapy. In the meantime, she's got plenty of people praying for her family. I just thank you for blessing and protecting each and every one of these children. Lord. And Dr. Coe says that patients who undergo this gene therapy should know within a couple of months whether or not they are now making the right hemoglobin. He says, of course, because this is new and there's not a, a lot of research or, or new uh, things done with this just yet. He says that there has to be surveillance after this gene therapy is done just to make sure that there aren't any adverse side effects. Back to you. All right, Alex, amazing breakthrough and really lucky for North Texans who uh, get to take advantage of it being done right here. Thanks a lot.